What's up people, Clay here, welcome back to Red Tech. Today's hot topic is the Komodo Link. This little bit of kit offers direct, reliable connectivity that really powers up some of our new features like FTPS functionality. And today we're gonna demo how to set some of those features up using the Komodo Link. Here we go, step one, upgrading your handy phone or tablet into a monitor. Now, streaming wirelessly is rad, but sometimes a lower latency, higher quality stream is radder. And this wired connection, you know, it can get you monitor feed and camera control in some situations where Wi-Fi just isn't gonna cut it. Imagine controlling the camera from outside the soundstage where there's a bunch of cement and metal that's gonna cut through that Wi-Fi signal. Now all you need is one long cable. When connecting your phone, there are a few important things to remember and the process is slightly different between iPhone and Android. On iPhone, it's important to ensure your hotspot is turned on. Upon connection, your phone should ask if you'd like to trust this computer. You're gonna to wanna to say yes to that. Open the RED Control app and you're good to go. One thing to note is you may see the camera pop up through Wi-Fi as well if you have that connected. Make sure you select the connection that says link next to it to get that extra throughput. With Android, connect the phone enter settings and make sure USB tethering is enabled. From here, it's the same deal. Open the app, select your camera and get you. Next up is where shit gets real cool. You can directly connect the camera to a computer or network using a USB-C to ethernet adapter. This allows for a higher speed connection that really sets the FTPS feature free. You can upload LUTs, presets, you can even upload a firmware upgrade. And get this, you can download media remotely. Imagine a trap cam where you really can't make it out to the camera very often. If it's got a wired connection in your port forwarding, you could pull that media straight off from home. You can also connect directly to Zoom meetings or your favorite streaming software. And this starts to have really big implications in my mind for virtual productions, remote workflows, all kinds of cool stuff. Imagine, say, an internet talk show where the camera positions are established. With Komodo Link, you could operate and even offload those cameras without ever going close to touching them. That's great in a time of social distancing and even beyond. Down to brass tacks. Connect the USB-C to Ethernet adapter and connect your Ethernet cable to your desired device. I'm using a Netgear switch. Then, navigate to the communication section of the menu on Komodo. Select Komodo Link, and here you should see your IP address. This will allow you to stream and control the camera through a browser or app. Watch this. Hey Clay, can I get in on that meeting? Sure thing, what's the IP? 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.